Stay tuned for the end of this episode to learn how you can get your hands on one of these badass Yukon growlers. We are we back. Are here. Ready to give you another review of a, of a holiday gift that you could be giving this time of year or, you know, just any time of year. Or give yourself. This is the Yukon Growler. This is a 32 ounce double walled insulated black matte stainless steel beast. Of a Yukon! Glub, 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 glub. When Corey told me that we were uh, given some of these Yukon Growlers to put on the show and to give away, I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. I've never really been a, a big fan of Growlers yeah. because Growlers to me, like, they can't, they, they can't stay fresh long enough. And I've never been a huge fan. And I don't really like the glass Growler anyway. I think they look kind of cool, but they're just not practical. I don't know. Right. So when, I, when he said, I was like, okay, I mean, that's cool. And he brought it over. I was like, dang, that yeah. thing's sweet. Like, yeah, it's it, awesome. it just looks cool. It feels cool. Like, And I'm not just giving it lip service. It's a pretty badass little growler. Yeah, and so when, when Ron and I like to do product reviews, we like to put them to the test. Yes. We don't like to just sit there and say, oh, it's a decent product. We like to, to drop them. We like to smash them. We yeah. like to try and see the durability, the quality, because if we're going to put our name on it... It's got to be good. It's, it's got to be, be good. good. So... We looked at the the Yukon Growler here, and I'm just gonna tell you first off, looks alone, like you said, beautiful. Matte black finish. It's got that like soft touch rubber feel kind of yeah. to it. Uh, the Yukon Growler logo on there looks really cool. But it's also very sleek and modern, the black and kind of chrome look to it. I just really like the aesthetics of it. It just feels really high quality. Yeah. And I mean it I was Corey, you know, off camera and he, we were about to do our drop test. He's like, I'm pretty scared. I was like, I don't know, man. It's like built like a tank. So yeah, it really is. I, and we would never do a drop test with a glass growler. Are you no, kidding me? No. I mean, we <laughs> we have a couple of them, but we would never drop them. Heaven forbid. And that's what I love about this is that it's drug. It's rugged. You yeah. don't have to worry about like condensation getting on it. It doesn't sweat, by the way. Dropping it and breaking your growler, which would be horrible. Right. So Corey, let's get into some of the pros and cons of the Yukon growler. If I was gonna do a growler, yeah. I would go Yukon Growler because I love the way it looks. And I love this, you mentioned it, but this the strap, it looks like just a dinky string. Like it doesn't look like it's doing much. That will hold Oh yeah. that. I mean, it could be full, but I like that it it doubles as more than just a growler. Like, yeah, no unitasker. No, not a unitasker at all because you could fill this with ice water and this thing stays cold for 24 hours. 24 hours cold, 12 hours hot. So you could you can make some minestrone throw it in here and you have it for lunch for the next day, it'll be great. Yeah, and I mean, just like Black Friday, camping out in your yeah. tent before you go into Best Buy and you've got your big old thing of coffee. Yeah, I love coffee. I could totally, and as a teacher, I probably drink this <laughs> much anyway. All day. So I could totally see me just loading this thing up at Speedway and getting on my <laughs> way. Besides versatility, I'd say another pro, as we've mentioned, is just the build quality. You can see in this drop test right here, we dropped it at many different angles. and. It was full of water, so 32 ounces of water. The side drop test bent the side a little bit, but it still held st uh, steady. Mm -hmm. The only time it spilled was when I dropped it directly on the lid, and that even bounced once, fine, and then dented the lid, but the lid goes right back on. Yeah. So even though it spilled the beer, you can still use the growler, and now that we dented it a little bit, I'm, I'm using this growler. Yeah, I mean, it's just a very legit drinking utensil. This is one of those products that you're gonna purchase or maybe win, and you're gonna just feel really comfortable with what you did. No buyer's remorse here at all. I actually have no cons. I no. have no cons to this. I no. mean, I mean, it's not a water bottle by design. So, right. I mean, obviously it's larger than maybe you're just gonna walk around with it, but you could, and I actually have no cons how, at all. How about another pro here? Uh, easy to clean. There's a, a nice wide mouth in there. And now I got big hands, so maybe I can't get in there. But it's not like you have, you know, those the glass growlers yeah. are like a little tiny opening. Yeah, you would. Really, I mean, you really have to spray in there. And it's yeah, so this is pretty easy. Pretty to clean. easy to clean. I guess maybe the only con is it doesn't have an actual handle. Uh, I mean, this is a handle, but to pour with, I don't know. Maybe just use two hands. Yeah, you're not a kid. I think you, I think you can figure that out. Yeah. But that yeah, that's it, nitpicking. It, yeah, because you we have gonna, to. Because if you're gonna that, nitpick, yeah, it's that awesome. Yeah, I'm 100 sold. Yukon Growlers has my BRC official it has seal, our of approval. seal of approval on it. Boom! And if you want to get your hands on it, 
you can either go to our website and look on the right hand side there's a logo there for the Yukon Growlers Amazon page and you can get 15% off of it or 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 you can guess that beer on the next episode next episode of the BRC on tap podcast we play a little game called guess that beer if you can guess it you'll get yourself a Yukon Growler so guys whether you're shopping for beer related stuff or just any items in general. We all do shopping online and Amazon's our main place that we go. Go to brewreviewcrew.com backslash Amazon and you will get sent to Amazon just like you normally would. You can purchase anything you want. It doesn't look any different, but it'll send us a little bit of money and we can better the show. Thanks.